Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Felicimo Friday and we will be working with set number 21 of the Felicimo colored pencils. Uh, the Felicimo set is a 500 pencil set. This is number 400 to 420 uh, in this set. They are a set that you can purchase either um, as a subscription where you get a box of pencils every month uh, of 20 pencils all the way up until all 25 boxes are, are with you. Or you can purchase the entire set, which is what my husband did, where you get all 500 uh, pencils at once in 25 cute little boxes uh, that you can either store them in or you can uh, do what I'm going to do and put them in color order and store them in other fashions. They are a chunky square pencil. The only sharpener I have found that works well for them uh, so far is the Mr. Pen in the chunky hole, in the big hole. Now I have found that this one does not tear the corners because it is a square pencil. Uh, so it doesn't tear the corners like my Stedler was. The Stedler sharpened them, but it tore the corners, which really bothered me. So that's the pencil sharpener I use. Uh, the set today is called Comfort, and it says, after a warm bath to soothe the day, a velvety towel folds, a velvety towel folds, covers your you drinking hot chocolate by the fire, moments that are all well overdue. And of course we have our swatch chart here. So I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera and we'll start to swatch these. Again, I will remind you that the swatch chart material, the, the paper that this is made on, is not the greatest. So um, I'm not going to be able to get as much saturation as I would on better paper. Uh, these are a wax-based pencil, I do believe. I would have to look it up again, but I'm pretty sure they're a wax-based pencil. This one here is called Sandy Feet, and it is a very, very light gray with a slight touch of yellow in it. almost a creamy gray. Just trying to get down a good level of color there and building that color up with layers. Like so. And the next one is Moose Whip. Like um, the dessert mousse, not the animal mousse. <laughs> also a very light color, almost a white. It has a slight cream touch to it. But it is a very, very light color. Another light birdie in our in our future, I see. Just by looking at the colors in this set, it does look like it's going to be a very nice set for um, doing some skin tones, some lighter skin tones, as well as, uh, you know, coffees and that sort of thing. This one is called Cream Puff, and it's got a slight pink tinge to it. A lot of these colors have just a slight bit of color to the white. Great for blending. Wonderful blending pencil. Especially if you're using a light palette. Very, very light color. Unfortunately, you can barely see it. <laughs> uh, this one here is called Soft Petal. Again, it's going to be a light color, but it's got a little bit more pink in it than the previous one. Just building that color up. Now we only have this set and then four more. And then we're all done Felicimo Friday. 
and then I will go through and start trying to build them into color order which is going to be fun. This one is called Feeling Lusty. Again, has just a little bit more pink in it than the previous one. Very, very light color. And the way they feel on the paper tells me that they're a, a waxy pencil. So. Very, very light color. <laughs> we're we're going to get into some of the darker colors and then we're going to go back into light colors here. So this one here is called Gooey S'more. These are not thrilling colors, that's for sure. But they will work really, really well in... Uh, undertones and uh, um, blush tones for your uh, portrait colors. That one is called Gooey S'more. You can see the pink a little bit more in there. This one is called Flower Bed. This one should be a little bit more pink than all of the others. can actually almost see color in it. The other ones you can see color in it barely um, in person. I know that on the camera you, it dulls it down quite a bit more. So This one at least has some pigment to it where you can actually see it on the camera. And this one here is called Well Rested. Again, it's got a bit of a brown pink to it, yeah, but it has the pigment in it. So you can definitely see this one a little bit better. Building that color up. We'll have to see how well this does for the bird. <laughs> the last couple of birds have been quite light. So this one will probably be light as well. I'm just going to dust off any little bits that may have crumbled off. Now this one here is called Praline Parfait. I like pralines and cream. It's so good. Can't eat it anymore, but it's so good. Again, a nice creamy tan tone. Yeah, these are, these are going to be perfect for portrait, light portrait um, uh, pictures. This one is called Beachy Keen. Now we're getting it more into those peach tones. Very, t very light tint to most of these colors. So that one is Beachy Keen. And then we're going to go into Sunday Solace. And now you can see that we're starting to go back into that light, very light tint to the color. So it's a very, very light peach tone. Very light peach color, I should say. All right, and then we have Hush Darling. This is going to be a light white pink. A 
Again, the tint in it is very, very light, so it's almost, almost a white, but it's got a bit of a pink to it. Almost can't even see it. <laughs> almost. This one is called Afternoon Air. I hope you are all looking forward to the weekend. Of course, we're going to be starting a new artist. Uh, this is uh, Noam Levi that we're starting tomorrow. And she is a part of our Facebook group. So um, if you want to join into the Facebook event, um, Noam would would get you into the album. So because she is one of our Facebook uh, artists. There are several, several uh, artists in our Facebook group and we're doing an event this month of celebrating our artists. So you color something from one of the artists in our group and post it in the uh, event album. So this one here is called Ivory Shelter. But Noam is one of many different artists that uh, are in our Facebook group that uh, I would love to have people feature or people color at least. She has gifted a lot of, of pages to the uh, to the group. So this one is called Ivory Shelter. It's a nice ivory color. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit darker. This one is called Miso Peas. But very, very tanny, um, peachy kind of tone, you know, peachy kind of colors. I think when it's white's added, it's a tint, and when a black is added, it's a tone. So these are all tint colors because they're very pale. This one is almond glaze. Again, another very nice ivory tanny color. These are going to work really well for skin tones. I don't know how well it'll work for a bird, but it will work really well for skin tone. And then this one here is salted seashell. And then we have hot chocolate. This has a little bit more of a brown gray to it. Not a color I'd want hot chocolate to be, but. This one's a little bit more waxy than the others but definitely not a color I'd want hot chocolate to be. <laughs> it's a little light for hot chocolate. Uh, this one here is called Woolen Blanket. Now we're going to get into that gray lavender color. Very, very pretty tint. It's a 
pretty color. Let's just say that. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it is a pretty color. And again, the paper um, that they give us for the swatch chart is not the best paper for these pencils whatsoever. And this one here is called Tone Down. And this is the last pencil in the set. I'll switch over to the main camera here and show you the swatch chart and go through the swatch chart with you. And then we will color in the Winged Daydreams by Monique de Wild. And we are coloring a page in there with several different birds with several different sets of the uh, 25 sets that come with the set. That made sense. 25 boxes, so we're coloring with, e with each individual box in Wing Daydreams. I'm going to switch you over to the main camera. I'm just going to down this a little bit. It's a little bright. And I'm just going to focus it. And hopefully it'll focus. All right, so we've got Sandy Feet, Moose Whip, Cream Puff, uh, Soft Petal, Feeling Lusty, um, Gooey S'more, Flower Bed, Well Rested, Praline Parfait, Beachy Keen, Sunday Solace, Hush Darling, Afternoon Air, Ivory Shelter, Miso Peas, Almond Glaze, Salted Salted Seashell, say that ten times fast, Hot Chocolate, Woolen Blanket, and Tone Down. And like I said, they are a very, very light uh, palette, very um, flesh-toned kind of palette. All right, so, so far we have gotten to this bird here was our number 20. This one here will be number 21. Uh, we are going to color it with these light-toned pencils, so it's getting very light so hopefully the next the the tree colors will be at least a little brighter all right going to switch you over to the um, close-up camera again going to focus in on the bird here and we're going to start with let's start with our darker color here hmm i think Salted seashell is the darkest of those colors. So we're going to start with our tanny, tony, tanny brown kind of colors. Um, actually, hot chocolate might work too. Yeah, let's use hot chocolate as well first. I will try to get as many of these colors in the bird as possible. Um, can't guarantee that I'll get them all in here though. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with hot chocolate. Getting into those. Shadowy kind of areas. And hopefully you guys can actually see color <laughs> because these are very, 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 very light. All right, just building that color up a little. Come down his tail. I'm just going to fill in his tail here.
why do we give gender to certain things, like different animals I tend to give a male gender to. Um, cars and things like that, flowers, I tend to give a female gender to. It's very interesting. Not sure why we do that, but uh, that is my tendency to give all animals a male gender. All right, so we've got hot chocolate in there. Now we're going to go in with salted seashell. We're going to extend off of the hot chocolate here. So, all right, and then we're going to go in with almond glaze. We have our back tone air back colors. Now we're going to go in with uh, flower bed. Now we don't have a lot of green colors, so I will work into the pinks, I think, on the wings here. Just putting down that dark. You guys can't even see it. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. This is the darker of the pinks. So I'm just applying it to the veins as well as the shadow areas of the wings. Okay, the next color we're going to use is a gooey Samoa. Can't believe you guys can barely even see that. <laughs> it is going to be a very light bird. Now when I do get all of these um, transformed into or put into color order, I will be doing a new swatch chart for them. However, I won't be using the names. Uh, I will only be using the numbers because then I can get it all on one page. If I use the names, uh, it does take up a lot of space on the swatch chart and I can end up not getting, end up having to, to make several different swatch pages for one set. And I do try to keep them all on one page. Um, if the swatch itself gets too small, then I, I will um, put that into a different, into more than one more than one page. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Brain doesn't want to work. So I'm using a woolen blanket now 
where the shadow area is on his belly. And up into his breastbone there. Okay, and then we're going to uh, use this one here, this one here. So this one is cream puff. And then we're going to start with this one for the flower. All right, so we're going to use Beachy Keen. Not a lot of elements to this bird, so. Okay, that's our cover color for the flower on his chest plate. And then we're going to go in with a praline parfait. And just add some shadow to it and do the centers. I know these colors are very, very light, and you're probably not seeing a whole lot of them, but they are there, I promise. <laughs> and now we're going to use Hush Darling for his feet. Because why not? And his beak. Then we're going to take the last one, which is Toned Down. And we're going to put it in the dots here, along with that pink that we already added. Just a little bit of it. Just going to fill in the feet a little bit more there. All right, so there we have our little bird. I know it is very, very light, but if I tip it this way, you can see the color. <laughs> it is a very, very light bird uh, because the colors in this set are very, very muted, uh, just like they are in this set here. Now, as you can see, these colors are very close together. Uh, however, this one here is much lighter than this one here. You can see the brown tones in the undercoating here and the gray tones in the shadow coating there. So even though they are very, very close, um, they're actually two different colored pencils or three different colored pencils here and three different colored pencils here of a lighter generation coloring. Same with on the chest plate. This peach is very, very light. This one is a much darker peach tone. All right, I'm going to switch over to the main camera here so you can see all of them a little bit better. Let's drop that down just a touch. And bring it into focus for you. There you go. You can see the, the colors a little bit better there. 
All right, guys, so that is our Felicimo Friday for today. Again, the um, set is called Comfort, and it says, After a warm bath to soothe the day, a velvety towel fold, folds, covers you drinking hot chocolate, folds, a velvety towel folds, covers you. There we go. Drinking hot chocolate by the fire moments that are well overdue. And of course, like I said, it is a very light um, set that gives you a lot of uh, different um, light, fleshy tones. All right, guys, with that, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the Felicimo Friday as well as coloring in the Wing Daydreams by De Monique Day Wild. Um, Next Friday, we will be doing number 22. And uh, yeah, we will be hopefully finishing this up by the end of April, as long as I don't miss any more. I was hoping to finish it by the end of this month, but unfortunately, I've gotten sick a couple of times and missed a couple of Felicimo Fridays. All right, so with that, Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy the start to the weekend. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artist that you enjoy. And always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye for now.